is MSR's Elixir 2 backpacking tent. As much or little as you want, and then you can roll it up and neatly stash it away. So now we're going to talk about closed cell phone mattresses. This is the Big Agnes Tumble 2 Mountain Glow Edition. This is an interesting tent with a cool LED strip. Is it worth it? Let's find out. So here's a look at the body of the tent now, as well as the pole structure. These are DAC aluminum poles, so they're nice and light. You can see Big Agnes has color-coded these. So where there's gray, there's a gray clip. And where it's orange, there's an orange clip. The uh, tent structure is held by these little clips right here. And they're all throughout the tent. And even the top one is just the standard little clip. So you can only clip into, at, at the most, one pole here. We'd like to see maybe a hub or something a little bit bigger to hold on to all of these poles to keep them secure. But it still gets the job done. So we have the standard crisscross as well as the spreader pole, which is very common these days for uh, light backpacking tents because uh, it gives you a lot of headroom but also minimizes weight. As you can see, there's a combination of synthetic, mesh, and then there's a bathtub floor right at the bottom here. Uh, there's a little bit more synthetic material than usual. We'd like to see a little bit more mesh, but uh, obviously Big Agnes has just decided to uh, add a little bit more color to this tent. Uh, so yeah, there's mesh all the way around here. The door is synthetic yellow, and then there's a big mesh panel on the side here and on the other side, of course. There are two doors to this tent, which is really good to see. And uh, the two, the dual zippers here have really nice uh, sort of grab handles, which make it really easy to locate and grab. So this can roll back and there's a really big loop and toggle right here. Just like that. Let's take a look inside now. So inside the tent now, there's actually quite a bit to cover. Starting over here, there are two pockets that are triangular. We don't really like this style just because things can fall out really easily. There's no sort of lip to catch anything, but um, they are quite big, so you could store something like a sweater in there even. So there are two on this side and then two on that side. Up above, there are a lot of accessories. So we have two pockets on this side, two pockets on this side, one pocket here, and one pocket here. So a total of six pockets on the roof. Uh, one of them even has a, almost a, it's, I guess a, a wire hole at the very bottom, just so you can slide um, something like your headphone wire through. So you can have your portable device up here, be lying down and also listening to your music which is an interesting touch. Uh, one more thing before we get to the star of the show. Uh, so, uh, Big Agnes has included the toggle and loop, which is fairly standard for rolling a door back, but they also have a doorkeeper loop. That's what they're calling it. And uh, you can just sort of stuff the door in here if you really quickly just want to keep it open. Uh, we'd prefer to just roll it neatly because this looks fairly messy and it's not even that much easier. But um, for some people, they could really like how fast it is and convenient. Now, finally, onto the mountain glow feature. This is essentially a light strip along the top, which can be detached by these little clips here. So all along, you can feel these little LEDs. And then when you put batteries in and turn the light on, Obviously, there's a little power button right through there. Uh, then these light up and provide you with ample lighting throughout the tent. This is an interesting feature. Personally, we don't really use it. We wouldn't find that much of a use for it because we have our own headlamps and flashlights and we could just hang a headlamp right in there and be good to go. But if you want to spend a little bit more time in your tent, maybe you want to read a book during your camping trip or something else like that, it could come in handy, and um, for a four-person model, this tent does actually come in a four-person model, it might be nice to uh, spend some time 
in the tent with your tent mates, maybe play, playing some cards, and uh, then this area lighting would really come in handy. So there's a battery pack, two double A's, and uh, it's in a little waterproof seal, just so, you know, if you're on a canoe trip and your bag goes over, you can fish it out and it won't be totally destroyed. And then it's well sealed, no exposed wires, and all the way across. Again, this is fully removable, so you don't have to take it on the trip if you don't want it, but uh, it is a pretty cool feature and definitely uh, really awesome for some people. So there are very few uh, other accessories to this tent. We've got a standard pole splint, which again, you can slide over to uh, brace a crack or a break on the pole system. And we have these standard aluminum tent pegs that, looks like, <laughs> that look like they would bend very easily. So uh, we would recommend picking up some unbendable ones or uh, just something a little bit sturdier, and maybe a little bit more of them even. So here's a look at the fly now. Again, uh, Big Agnes has color coded these clips. So there's orange here and then there's gray on the other side. We've got one scoop vent here with a kickstand and this can be shortened down if it's very, uh, very windy or very rainy. Another thing you can do is you can peg this guy line out here. It should be noted that there is reflective guy line included on the attachment points. And um, speaking of, there are, are actually a lot of guy line attachment points that are all reflective all around the tent. But this one in particular uh, helps keep the fly away from the body. So therefore it keeps the water away from the body. And it can also help with a little bit more ventilation. Moving on to the vestibule now, we have a nice storm flap with Velcro, which is fairly standard. Opens up like this. And then a single zipper all the way up here. And then this side can roll back to this loop here. And this side can also roll back over that side. Try that again. There we go. <laughs> it's not the easiest, but as you can see, it ties back really clean and um, it's really nice looking actually. So again, you can do the same thing with the other side and keep in mind there is an identical vestibule on the other side as well. So there is plenty of space for your gear here, as you can see. So we'd like to talk about uh, maybe some of the practical uses for this tent. It's actually only four pounds and 11 ounces. So it's actually very light and a very respectable weight for a two person, three season backpacking tent. Uh, the mountain glow feature is interesting. However, if you're really trying to look for the lightest tent possible, we would say you could just remove it and go without it. Just take an extra flashlight or maybe just a headlamp, right? So uh, although the mountain glow isn't necessarily needed for backpackers, it is a pretty cool feature. And maybe on the larger models, it would be kind of cool for group camping. So that's our review of the Tumble 2 Mountain Glow Edition from Big Agnes. Let us know what you think. Do you think that the mountain glow is at all useful or do you think it should just be straight up removed?